Hola, hola, hey, roll, 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 we can play, roll, and roll, and roll. Hey guys, it's Candy Lou, and um, I'm back for the last day of, of um, leftovers, all right? That's why I called it Take the Meat, Spit Off the Bone. We are down to the bone, all right? The bone of that chicken that I started with at the beginning of the week. And I know some of you guys are probably like, dang, still eating that chicken? Yeah, that chicken, I'm, I'm convinced it was a turkey, honestly. I think it was a turkey, and I had a late Thanksgiving. So, yeah, we're in February, March, and we're having Thanksgiving. So, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, gosh. How was your day today? I hope you guys had a wonderful and blessed and prosperous day. Regardless of what it looked like or felt like, you are still standing, you are still breathing, and we're about to be eating. So um, if you need some dinner options or ideas, hey, hopefully I can inspire you a little bit and we can um, get that ball rolling in your house. So if you're out there, give me a shout out. Let me know that you're there so I know who I am talking to. Again, thank you for joining in. Thank you for keeping me company. It's pretty fun having people to cook with and um, give feedback. You guys, guys gave me some really good feedback the other day when I was preparing that chicken. Last night, we turned that chicken into taco salad. Today, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what to do with the last bit of chicken we, when we are down to the bone, all right? So, first things first, I went ahead and saved a little bit of time today and cut everything, well, didn't really cut it up too small, but I pulled some of the chicken off of the bone. All right, so first things first, it's simple. So you've been at work all day, you're coming back home, you didn't have time to stop at the grocery store, and you're like, what can I do to dress up some leftover chicken? You ain't gotta do much. All you gotta do is this. Get some bread, all right? I'm actually down to the bottom of our bread as well. So get your bread, put it on the plate. You have kids, it's simple, let them build their own sandwiches. My sister has two boys, and it's something that she does with them. She lets them build their own salads, build their own sandwiches. It lets them feel like they're a part of the process, and I bet you, I guarantee you, that they eat up more of their food when they feel like they're a part of the process. Hi, Erica. Hi, Miss Becky Harris. I wish I was there to make you some cupcakes, but I'm here in New York making sandwiches. So, my suggestion is if you have that leftover chicken, you have kids, you have a busy household, get some bread, have the chicken cut up for them. Taking the chicken that we had from the leftover, um, from that roaster I made the other night, lay it on the chick, lay it on the bread. This is so simple. I'm telling you, a two-year-old can do this, all right? A two-year-old. Hi, Jeannie. How are you? So here we go. So I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but right here I have, I don't want to move that up too much. I just have the chicken. The chicken is actually, I think it had time to really sit. It's been sitting. So um, it's so juicy. Good thing about cooking at home is you can use your fingers. <laughs> All right. So look, it's so simple. Like I said, if you have little ones, you're rushing home. You don't have much time to prepare. Just grab some meat, get some bread. And then here comes the fun part. Because people can put whatever they want on their chicken. All right. I'm a big barbecue sauce fan. So listen, dinner's almost ready. Remember I said you had a busy day. You were in rush hour traffic. You were on a train. Whatever your mode of transportation was, you had to deal with your boss all day long. The last thing you want to do today is come home the day before Friday and cook some big old elaborate meal. Am I right about that? So you got your meat. You got your bread, now drench it with the sauce. Don't be shy, don't be shy, don't be shy. There we go, and voila. I say put a little bit more on there. I look a little, look a little lonely. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Just like you're at a tavern. There we go, stick that bread on there if you want to. You feel kind of fancy, cut it in half. Uh -oh. There you go. And voila. Mmm. <laughs> Delicious. That's meal number one. All right? I'm coming back right now for meal number two. Cousin Brian, what's up? I'm eating a um, barbecue sandwich I made. Just to recap, I took the leftovers from the last couple nights. I said, Nobody feels like cooking. So grab some bread, throw the meat on there, lather it up with some barbecue sauce. All right, it's delicious. Dinner served. Now, for those of you who were like, girl, 
You had me eating sour cream and cheese last night with the taco salad. I can't be doing that. I need to, I need to take a load off. I got to eat a little bit lighter. Plus, you promised us some um, puff pastry with apples yesterday, so I'm assuming, Candy Lou, you're making it today. You are right. I am making that today. So, we want to start off a little light for our main dish. You can't get much lighter than a salad. So, what we're going to do is this. Oh, you know what? I also forgot to tell you. For your sandwich, feel, th feel free to throw in some, um, some lettuce onto your salad. Excuse me. Your sandwich. So, here we go. So, now we're on to the main dish if you want a light meal. Get some nice spring leafy lettuce. Throw it in here. This is mixed. It's so nice. Let's see what it, let's see what all is in here. It's baby spinach spring mix. Um, it's organic. Ooh. <laughs> so here we go. Put this in here. If you like, throw some tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes. You know they say if you heat up your tomatoes, it releases something in them that's um, antioxidant producing so it fights cancer so it's a really good idea to heat up your tomatoes um, I wouldn't suggest it for a salad but just keep that in mind they're really great to um, build up your red blood cells so there we go now what you want to do is take your chicken remember this is the light option take your chicken chop it up throw it up in there it cannot get easier than this you guys and now you still have room for that dessert I was telling you about I promise you if you came over, I would not use my hands like this, but I'm gonna eat this so I can use my hands. All right, so there we go. This chicken is nice and tender. I heated it up in the oven. So there we go. So we have a nice little salad. You like can toss with it with my fingers. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now I love, I'm a big fan of Thousand Islands. Some of you guys might be big ranch fans. I also have in here, hold on, please. I have a little Italian, as some people say, or Italian. Italiano. Mwah! All right, so which one do you guys think I should use? Ranch, Italian, or Thousand Island? Hmm? You let me know. I think I'm going to go for, I think I'm going to go for the fatter option. I'm going to go for Thousand Islands. So here we go. Shake it on there. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Get a nice tomato. Nice leaf. Bon appetit. <laughs> eat on TV. I don't get it. I don't eat cute. So I've been told I chew hard and fast. So anyway, that's excellent. So there we have it. Two meals from leftovers that are simple, easy enough for a two-year-old to make. So if you have two-year-olds, tell them, make your own dinner tonight. Darn it. No. <laughs> so a sandwich, a salad, voila. All right. Lastly, we're going to get down to business. This is fun right here. So hopefully you guys are ready. Now, I did say something today. I said, take the meat, spit out the bone. I kind of want to get a little deep right now. There are some things that happen in our lives. There are maybe disappointments that some of us face. But we got to learn, even in the worst of or most frustrating of or most frivolous of situations, we got to learn to take the meat and spit out the bone. That means take the things that are meaningful and useful and apply those. Find out how you can apply those to your life and spit out the rest. You don't need to keep it all. So maybe you have a very frustrating coworker or a superior, somebody that's a manager that you have to work with who gives you a really hard time. You know what? Take the meat, spit out the bone. What's useful? Yes, they're frustrating. No, they're not justified, but there may be something useful. Maybe you didn't get that job you wanted. What can you learn from that situation? Take the meat, spit off the bone. You don't have to be down on yourself. You don't have to um, second guess your giftings or your abilities or your purpose. Take the meat, spit out the bone. All right, you guys? So we're down. I'm using that analogy because we are down to the bottom of the chicken. For those of you guys just tuning, tuning in, we finished our meals already. What I did was I showed the, um, the other viewers 
how we can use the rest of the chicken that we made. We made a barbecue sandwich, which is quick and easy for anyone in the family to jump in and make. And we also made um, a nice chicken salad, which is so light because in a little bit, we're gonna make this puff pastry dessert with apples. So it's almost like a apple pie with a nice fluffy, puffy, flaky crust. So here's the salad. So good. Use those leftovers. Leftovers can be so fun and so good. You don't have to throw it all out because you're, you know, you're sick of it. Get, make it, make it over. Do something new and exciting with it. And so the analogy that I was using after that was similar to, you know, taking the meat off the bone. We don't want to eat the bone. The good part was the chicken. So even in the hard parts of our life, you guys, take the meat, spit out the bone. You're going through a difficult time in life. In one area or another, look at what you can extract from that difficult time and apply to the rest of your life so that you can go forward in excellence and power and into your destiny. So take the meat, spit out the bone. Don't stay stuck. All right. All right. So now we are on to pace. I mean, pace, puff pastry. Who has cooked with puff pastry before? It's something that... I found a few years ago, get it in the frozen food aisle. It's so good, it's so easy. One thing I like to do, um, besides using it for desserts, is I like to cut it up, bake it, and use it as like a bread, because it gets so thick. I'm gonna show you. Has anybody on here had puff pastry before? It's wonderful. Let me show you how to do it. All right, it's perfect right now. So let me see if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we're set. <laughs> Hi, Sharifa. I don't know if you're still watching, but I love um, keeping up with you and your family on Facebook. You guys are beautiful. You have, beautiful. you have a beautiful daughter. So, okay, so here we go. Oh, <laughs> Erica, yes, you're, you're... My sister has a gluten allergy. Now, if you have a gluten allergy, this is not something you want to do. Um... So just don't do this, all right? Just make applesauce with the apples I'm gonna show you. Oh, I'm gonna put this back in the freezer. It comes in a pack of two. Last thing you want is for this to get soft and soggy and it pulls apart when you wanna use it. All right, so. I'm gonna keep this real simple. I was gonna heat it up on the stove. I don't wanna do that right now because listen, we're talking about a quick night. You, like I told you everybody earlier, you've been busy today. You don't have time for all that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for that. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? So what we wanna do is we wanna keep this real simple, real easy, so you can have it ready, sit down and watch your show, watch your power, or Maybe you watch TBN, <laughs> I don't know what you watch, but you can have it, you just, it's done. Tiffany, I know you have a sweet tooth. I remember that about you. I know Tabitha, our sister, when she went to get her hair done by you for the first time, she said you were making cupcakes and, and eating candy. I remember that. So you have a sweet tooth. So I'm pretty sure you could probably get down with this right here. And you understand the importance of just getting right to it, you know, getting to the fun part. Okay, so now, I don't have a roller. I like to usually use that pizza cutter. <laughs> I know, I haven't watched TV in, in years. But I, I, I like to use a pizza cutter for this. So this is just a nice dough. When it bakes up, it's gonna bake in layers. It's like magic. It's like dough magic. All right, so here we go. So this is as simple, how do I wanna do this? I'm a, I really don't know what I'm doing right now. You guys ever, listen, this is just like life right here. Sometimes you just gotta go with it. You just gotta go with it. You don't know how to make that dream happen. You don't know how to start writing that book. You don't know how to make your first millions, but you just gotta go with it. Go with what you know, start somewhere. And watch what happens. Let the magic happen, let it build, okay? Gotta let it build. So, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm using what I have. I have some dough. I got some apples right here. I got some, got a spoon and I have some time, all right? So, 
What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something different for both sides. Over here, I'm gonna make a little tiny one. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sandwich this. What kind of dreams are you guys waiting to build? What are you waiting for because you feel like you don't know how to do it? Huh? What is it that you really want to do, but you're like, I don't know how to do it, so I can't do it. Or you just stay stuck. You start looking at all your resources. We got resources right here. Have apples. I have puff pastry. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do it. So now you're just looking at resources and wasting time. What resources do we have that we're just looking at and squandering because we don't know what to do? I do that to you guys. I do it. But this is such an incredible example of just using what you got and giving it a shot. Who cares if you mess up? You'll never know if you don't start. So here we go. I am going to throw some apples up in here. It'd be kind of good if you had some caramel. Ooh, that would be so wonderful. What's up, Miss Nubo? How are you? Send me some cookies. I want some cookies. Bake chemistry in the house. Okay, now we don't want to stuff these too much because I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, we don't have caramel, but we do have cinnamon. All right, here we go. Let me, let me show you what we do. Got that ground cinnamon. Which one? What do I need to, what do I need to uh, coin? Which one? There we go. All right. So look, I know this looks good. Y'all probably over there hating, but don't hate, create. Don't hate, create. Get your own dough, get your own apples, make some, and then you know, use what you got. Yes, use what you got. Okay, actually, I think somebody kind of coined that already. Barbara Corcoran, I'm a huge Barbara Corcoran fan. Oh, this is what I'm gonna do. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but I just took one half of that pastry dough and I'm laying it right on top. I put cinnamon in there just to add a little more um, flavor to it because I don't know. I didn't take time to heat it up on the stove and stir it up and taste it. So just kind of close it up. Close it up just like a Pop-Tart. Do your kids ever talk too much and you wish you could just zip their lip like this? Just, just say one more word. Say one more word. One more word. <laughs> And see, now it's all closed up. They can't say no more words. All right. I don't have kids. So I just thought that was a pretty funny parent joke. There we go. That's all done. I'm going to do something really corny, but it's very funny. So watch, you guys. I do. <laughs> all right. Have you guys ever done this before for kids? They get a, the biggest kick out of it. Like you're going downstairs. I just thought of that silly, but it was funny to me. Okay, so I'm back. Just take that little piece of pastry dough that you've so carefully. It's right there, Cliff. It's right there. All right, so there we go. There's our puff pastry. We made this together. Good job. Give yourselves a round of applause. Put a little bit of, actually no, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna brush it with a little bit of egg white because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to brush it with egg whites. Who said so? Martha Stewart said so. Okay, so now we're gonna finish these up. I think I wanna make, I'm gonna make a smaller one. I wanna see what happens with the smaller one. You don't know until you know. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta just try some different things out. Oh, yes, I could fry them. Could I fry them? Could I fry the um, the actual, um, what do you call this stuff? Puff pastry? It's called puff pastry. Let me show you. You get it for $4.99 from your baker, from your frozen section. Nobody has time to make this stuff. So just buy it, buy it frozen. It is so good. Hey, cousin Heather, get this for your kids. They will love you. You can stuff it with anything. I'm using it for dessert after we, our light meal. I thought of you actually, no joke, Heather. I thought of you when I was making dinner tonight. So what I did was I took that leftover chicken. The first example was I said, hey, have your kids make it themselves. Make a sandwich. If you don't want a sandwich, 
make a salad. Throw some the chicken that we have with some tomatoes and your favorite dressing. It's light, it's easy, calorie saving. Then jump into dessert afterwards. You guys, like I said, stuff this with whatever you want. I like to stuff it with sweet potatoes. Here, let me show you what I do real quick. Hold on. Not long off. Hold on. Okay, so I don't know why I needed to pull this thing down to show you, but I needed to show you. All right, look. So what I like to do, I like to take sweet potatoes, put it in the microwave for like five minutes. Now, Mrs. Peggy Simmons, a good friend of our family, she taught us this, a special trick with um, microwaving root vegetables. So if you're going to microwave a um, sweet potato or a baked potato, put it in a plastic bag just like this. All right, so it's always a good thing to keep these around. More than dry, more, they're good for more than trash. <laughs> Put your baked potato in here, tie it up. After you poke holes in it, wash it off just like that. Get the air out of it, stick it in the microwave. It will not shrivel up on you. So real quick, this is what I would want you to do with this. Heat this up, take it out, mash it. Put a little bit of cinnamon, sugar, butter, and then stuff it inside of one of these. You have an incredible dessert literally in minutes. So I'm going to do a little small baby one because I'm just curious to see. This is the big one that we did. Let me show you how to do it real quick. There we go, because I might be taking too long. It might start to get too soft. There we go. And just press it, press it shut. Now, our, um, sorry. Our baked, our baked chemistry owner, Miss Newble, she was saying we could fry these. I think it would be a great idea to fry them. A little less uh, healthy, but shoot, while you're going for dessert, either go, what do they say, go hard or go home. It's sitting out too long, it's starting to get sticky. Don't let it sit out. Oh, you're right, I did that for the last, what is me, you are right here. Look, I did it for the last one, I just got excited and forgot. Let me do it for this one. This is for this is for you and Shireen to share. You can eat this virtually. Just screenshot this and then you guys eat it together later. Okay, here we go. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of cinnamon down here. Put a little bit of this filling right there. Like I said, I would heat this up on the stove and season it to taste. However, I ain't got time for that tonight. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to go dirty up more pots, you know? I'm washing more dishes. I always wash dishes. I'm tired of washing dishes. Okay. Yes, it is a good idea. So now, no calories. <laughs> Virtual eating. I'm reading some comments. All right, there we go. Now just cover it up like that. Oh, shoot. Throw a little cinnamon on there or nutmeg, as Cliff said. Great idea. Great suggestion. And just close it up with the fork. Now, it's gotten too soft, so it's starting to lift up on me meaning that the dough is sticking to the fork. And that's it, you guys, this is so easy. You, kids can make these for you and you get your sweet tooth satisfied in no time at all. Perfect. All right, now what I'll do is I'm gonna grab an egg and I'm just gonna Miss Langley, how are you? Darren the hater in the house. Did it, does anyone ever get afraid of cracking eggs and it, you're afraid like a baby chicken's gonna come out? I sometimes have that fear. So, it didn't happen. <laughs> so what we're doing right now, you guys, is we're wrapping up our dinner. We um, took that chicken that we made the, on Monday or Tuesday, whatever day it was, Monday, and we're using up the leftovers. We made a sandwich. We made, I'll show you. For those of you just tuning in, we made a sandwich with barbecue sauce. We made a yummy salad with chicken and spring lettuce and tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. Mmm. So good. And now, for dessert, we're making puff pastries filled with canned apples. It's simple, it's quick, and it's delicious. Okay, but before we put them in, we want to mix up this egg a little bit. What's up, Phil Mitchell? How are you doing? 
Langley, your granddaughter is beautiful. She's like a little Gerber baby. She's so pretty. All right, so whip that egg up a little bit. If you have a pastry brush, good idea. You can use it to brush this stuff on here. I don't. I'm going to use a spatula. I don't want it on my hands. It just kind of goltens it up a little bit. You don't want it to drizzle down the side because it'll affect the rise. You want it to rise. You know how I know that? I heard Martha Stewart say it. <laughs> she was making strawberry shortcakes and she was making the biscuits and she was like, you want to put the um, egg wash on top, but you don't want it to drizzle down the side because it'll affect the rise. So I believe her. I'll take her word for it. Oops, there we go. So now all I did was I brushed it a little bit so you guys see what I'm doing here. I'm going to let you get a better look at this. Hold up. Okay, so this is it. It's really simple. It's not much to it. And there's the egg wash I was telling you about. Here's the apples. Duncan Hine apples. That's all it is to it. It's made with no high fructose corn syrup. There's the chicken I use, the sandwich, the salad. Here's all of the ingredients. It's so simple, you guys. This is like the easiest dinner you could ever make. You have op you got options, y'all. Options. All with leftovers. Do not throw your leftovers over out. Don't throw them out. Use them. Just do what works for you and your family. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this in the oven right now. I'll be right back. Okay. So that's it. Can you imagine? Dinner ready. Bada boom, bada bang. Just like that. What are you guys gonna cook for dinner? Cliff, you keep asking me for the impossible, boo. I ain't got no marshmallows. Okay. Thank you, Darren. Thank you so much. So that is dinner for tonight. Um, I'm not going to make you guys wait while the puff pastry is baking. Wait, is it up high enough? Shoot. I had something else in the oven. There we go. I don't want to make you guys wait. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log off. And when the dessert is ready, I'll log back on. So this is kind of like a little commercial break. You know what I'm saying? But not. Hi, Erica. I'm glad you were um, logged on. I wish I could see your face. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, take the meat. Spit out the bone. Whatever is going on in your life. Extract the good. Throw out the bad. You utilize and take along with you what is useful for you and your journey, for your personal growth and for your destiny. You guys are incredible. Your future is great. Go home, cook something for your family. Like I said, make, get your kids busy. Let them help you out today. Take care. God bless you. Bye.